So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go through now the next couple that we're going to deal with. Um, so I got to go over some multiplication of our rational of our numbers. So the next thing we want to look at, I'm going to give you guys three examples of multiplication. The first one is let's do square root of 8, or neg square root of negative 8, times, uh, let's do the square root of negative 6. So if you have the square root of negative 8, uh, oh, let's do pick something good. If you're going to do the square root of negative 8 times the square root of negative 12, the first thing you do is you have to simplify each one of them. I'm not going to go through this step by step because I already did that. So I'm just going to go a little bit quicker. So this one, you can break this down into 4 times 2 times negative 1. And this one, you can break down into 4 times 3 times negative 1. So therefore, you have 2 radical 2i. And this one is 2 radical 3i. All right? Now, when multiplying radicals, you can only multiply your numbers, and then your radicals, and then your complex numbers. So it's going to look something like this. 2 times 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 3 times i times i. All right? You've got to remember you can multiply them. It's when we do in multiplication, it's going to be kind of very similar to our variables, except 2 times 2 is 4. The square root of 2 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 6. And then i times i is i squared. But i squared represents negative 1. So therefore, our answer is negative 4 square root of 6. OK? Yes? The what? There? All I did was I just multiplied 2 times 2 to give you 4. Squared. Huh? I did 2 times that 2. Square root of 2 times square root of 3. And then i times i. That's where they came from. 